for those of you who have not used Evite before, it's an online tool that you can use to create, send, but also manage event invitations. What I love about Evite is that you don't have to be creative. They have this huge gallery of templates that you can select from. And I, I mean, I'm one of the least artistic people you will ever meet. And I love using the templates because you can um, tweak them a little bit, uh, but they do all the work for you. And Evi, you can run it off of your PC, which is what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to be running it from my browser window, but you can also download the, the free app on your smartphone or tablet. And, you know, as I mentioned, there's this built-in functionality, which allows you to manage your invitations, which means that once you've sent your invites out and people start RSVPing online, everything is done online, you can view the RSVPs, you can message guests, you can add polls, see the results. There's so much you can do. It's and as I said, it's an entire platform, but really easy to use. And Evites, you know, you can use Evite to create, I think most people do it for personal events and parties, but uh, you also have the option to, some people use this more on a more professional level. So maybe you're responsible for, um, you know, events in your organization. Uh, you can actually use Evite to set up um, invitations and manage the invitations for a professional event. Maybe it's a, a fundraiser or a, a charity event, that kind of thing. You also can use Evite to host what's called a virtual event uh, with up to 30 people, very much like a Zoom meeting that we're having now. And obviously that's been popular the last, whatever, two plus years um, during our lovely pandemic. So this in a nutshell is what Evite is. And, and once I start, you know, showing you, demonstrating how to use Evite, I think you're going to get a, a pretty good feel for what you can do. Uh, there are different account types. There's the free Evite account, which is what I work off of. Now, if you've received an Evite invitation, you don't need to have an Evite account. You just click on the RSVP and say yes or no, I'm not going to be attending. However, once you start creating invitations and sending them out, that's when you'll need to sign up for an Evite account. And you can sign up for a free account. There are paid accounts and you get a little bit more with the premium packages. Uh, the Evite Pro, this really is if you're, um, if you're serious, if you're, you're doing this for kind of a living, um, putting on events, there are a lot more um, statistics, analytics that, um, that can be captured. So that'll just give you an idea of what the different account types are. I think most of us will probably work off of the, the free account. It gives you what you need. So to access Evite from a browser, you can go to the evite.com account, and I'm gonna show you how to do this and sign up for a free account. If you're working on a smartphone or a tablet, you can download the free app, either from the App Store or the Play Store. You can register for an account as you download the, the app, and then you're good to go. So let me show you what that looks like. I have another browser window. Um, uh, actually, let's do this here. So what I've done is on my browser window, I've gone to the evite.com website. This is what it looks like. If you want to register for an account, you can go over here and click on the register button. Let me just turn on my annotation. You can click on the register button. And then once you click on register, nothing's going on here. It's going to ask you if you would like to uh, use your email address to sign up to create an account. You can do that. You'll fill in your first name, last name, zip code, or if you have a Google account or already have a Facebook account or have an Apple ID, you can use those user ID and passwords to 
sign in um, to create, excuse me, your Evite account. It takes less than a minute and then you're good to go. So this is how you'll register for a free Evite account. Now I'm going to sign in because I already have an account. Um, I'll just sign in with my Google account. Um, I have a test account here, so <laughs> we'll just sign in with this. And then this is what the, the dashboard looks like when you log on to Evite, you're on your Evite account. Now, I will say that when you're working off of the free Evite account, you're going to notice that there are a lot of these um, advertisements. That's the trade-off. If you're working off of a paid account, you don't see any advertisements. So you're just gonna deal with it. Um, I really just learned to ignore them. So this is what your main dashboard, the main page looks like. And honestly, to get started, all you need to do is click on the create invitations button. And again, I'm demonstrating everything today from my web browser. So if you're working off of a smartphone or a tablet, you know, you'll access some of the menus a little bit differently. So I'm going to click on create invitations. And the next thing you want to do is pick a template. And there are different ways of going about this. So over at the top here, where you see these little check boxes, themes and free and color, you can actually select those uh, criteria, if you will. Um, for example, you'll notice that some of these templates have the word premium on them. Those are for if you have a premium account. Now, if you're working off of a free account and you select one of these premium templates, when you try to start sending your uh, evites out, it's going to stop you and ask for money. So uh, the premium are going to cost you, but there are certainly a number of these templates that are have the word free on them. That's for you. If you're working off of a free evite account, then you want to go with the free templates. So one of the things that you might want to do is come up at the top here, oh, that's annoying, and click on the free checkbox. So what that will do is automatically filter all those and just show you all of those templates that are because free. So that's one way of quickly filtering out um, the templates. And You'll notice and, that, um, you know, there's this um, uh, ho it's Halloween, there's the a Valentine's intro, Day theme going, going on, on because Valentine's so Day is coming up. And so we'll see what, this you know, is seasonal, you know, during Thanksgiving and, and the holidays and Christmas, that you, can use you know, it's all theme based. So 